Welcome back everyone, and I said I would be covering this as soon as it become available, and of course we're talking about Watchdog Legions and full ray tracing support for the Radeon cards. So when the game launched, and when the 6800 XT launched, there was a bit of a problem in the sense that the ray trace reflections were not properly working. So if you saw early reviews that had the 6800 XT, 6800, and even the 6900 XT that used Watchdog Legions for the ray tracing performance comparison, what you were getting was not really even close to apples to apples. In fact, we pulled it out of the review and even put in the review why we didn't have it in there. It's just, we didn't feel like it was fair to either party to show uh, better performance because one wasn't rendering properly and what appeared to be worse performance for another when it was rendering properly. So here we are today with Watchdog Legions and we run in on our test bench with the 6800 series, the 3080 and 3070 and we threw the 3060 Ti in there for good measure. Now we left the 6900 XT and the 3090 out of the numbers here because it would get so congested but in the future if you'd like to see those included let me know maybe we'll do a separate section just for the top tier cards on those things now let's uh take a look at the benchmark or the benchmark system the test bench should be on screen right now so you can kind of see what we're working with here and uh now that you've seen that let's jump into the results and get right to it so we're going to look at the results first off at 1440p without ray tracing to see where we start from and then where we kind of go to. So here you can see that the performance is quite good on the 6800 series. In fact, the 6800 XT is besting the RTX 3080 here by a few FPS and the 1% percentiles are looking quite good too. And then you go all the way down, the 3060 Ti is still breaking that 60 FPS mark even on the 1% percentile. So if you don't, if you want to go without ray tracing, you're going to get pretty good performance across the board. Now, let's turn ray tracing on and let's look at that at first without smart access memory or DLSS enabled to kind of see where performance goes. Now, of course, well, it kind of follows the history here that we're used to seeing where the big Navi cards take a bigger hit than the Ampere cards when ray tracing is enabled. And in this title, ray tracing reflections are quite intense and they look really good in my opinion. But you can see here the 6800 XT drops from that 116 lead all the way down to 48 FPS. Now it is just ahead of the 3060 Ti, but the 6800 is falling behind the 3060 Ti when it comes to ray tracing performance. And that's not exactly what you want to see for the price differential, but it is what it is. Now if you want to turn on DLSS and you want to see what kind of performance you can regain, because right now the 3080 is the only thing breaking that 60 FPS barrier. Well, once you enable DLSS in quality mode, you see the performance even of the 3060 Ti jump above that 60 FPS mark. Now, you're gonna see really good performance on that 3080. You're seeing it come in quite close. I say quite close. It's uh, about 15 FPS lower than ray tracing off at the very high detail settings. So quite honestly, enable it. That's pretty high frame rates. I don't think you're gonna have much to complain about there. Now let's move into 4K. Now at 4K, with just with ray tracing turned off, no DLSS, no smart access memory, you see the 3080 and the 6800 XT are the only ones breaking that 60 FPS mark. The 6800 comes quite close while the 3070 is a fair bit behind, uh, you know, about 10% behind that 6800 XT or 6800 rather, and it's not quite what you'd want to be playing at 4K. Now the 3060 Ti is even further behind than that, about a full 10 FPS below the 6800 at 4K. But let's talk about ray tracing. When you turn it on, well, quite honestly, none of these are really where you're gonna wanna be playing the game at for when it comes to 4K gaming with the very high settings with high ray trace uh, reflections turned on. Now, if you enable DLSS, 3080 gets right there at it at 59 FPS, while the rest of them, I would definitely say those are gonna be 1440p cards. So overall, 1440p, we're gonna see very good performance. Uh, even if you wanted to play it with the big Navi cards, just I don't know, just be used to lower frame rates. I probably wouldn't do it on the 6800. 6800 XT, that's there. You, you've got the argument there if you want to turn it on, if you're okay with that. But I have a feeling like you, you don't want to go from 115 FPS down to just under 50. 
Now, if you're running at 1440p and you want to run like a resolution modifier and turn on image sharpening, I can see that. You could, you could get a good bit of performance back. Now, this is going to show as we go forward the anticipation and the hopes that Fidelity FX Super Resolution is going to be readily available before too long because it can bring back a lot of that performance because this is a newer title and honestly without DLSS or with, without any special things going on, the 6800 series isn't terrible in ray tracing performance here. It sits right alongside of the 3070, which admittedly a $650 card and a $500 card. MSRPs are kind of, it's all I can go by right now because you know pricing is so all over the place, but that's, that's just what they are kind of thing. So it'll be interesting to see what we go there. Uh, I do want to take a look at the Quake 2 RTX now that it's been in, you know, updated to the, uh, well, the open source extension for Vulkan Ray Tracing, and it is able to be run on the 6800 series. Uh, there, there are some interesting things on there, and I know some people initially are going to be like, hey, that's clearly a biased test. Now, look, I get it with like Minecraft, huge difference. I think what you're going to see with Quake 2 RTX is quite interesting, and what it could mean going forward, because remember, that's a fully, it's two different APIs. So you got a DX12 Ultimate Fully Path Trace System, and then a Vulkan API Fully Path Trace System. I think you're going to find the results quite interesting. Let us know what you think down in the comment section below. Do what you do down there. Like, subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video. 